This ponding basin off Gaijanero Road in Jigo has been an eyesore for years. The fence is broken down. It's overgrown and unkept inside. Resident Dave Davis, who owns a home abutting the ponding basin, has complained to Mayor Bob Lazama about it. The mayor, in turn, has had it with Davis's complaints. In any case, the issue really lies with the Department of Public Works, Director Larry Paris. Well, who owns that ponding basin? Is that ours? Yeah, the Paris didn't know the specifics, but he wasted no time getting the highway maintenance supervisor, George Bamba, on the line to ask him about it. Do you happen to know what's the story with that particular ponding basin? Okay, uh, we, we were planning that and, uh, a few years back. Yes. Uh, and the uh, Department of Agriculture uh, uh, had a stop clear, clearing that for a while because of the uh, nesting of some birds that were in there. Okay, so so we can't touch that and clean it just because of that that directive from. Uh, and at that one time, so we, we we went back and they said it was okay to go clean it. Perez explained that the Department of Agriculture had barred DPW workers to go inside the ponding basin grounds to clean it up because that would have disturbed the habitat of the protected moorhens. We couldn't disturb anything in the ponding basin because the hens were in there and if you were to disturb anything or change anything, it will adversely affect the uh, livelihood uh, and the existence of that protected species. It's a moor hen. When DPW finally got the go-ahead to clean out the ponding basin area, they rented a backhoe to do it. The backhoe, however, broke down and the fiscal year ended and there was no money left to finish the job. They later came back and said it's gone, it's now safe to go back. We came back with a contractor. And <laughs> so now you can go and clean the bonding base. Well, well, we came with the contractor and the equipment broke down, but then there was a lapse in the fiscal year, or let's say end of the fiscal year, so we, we need to rejuvenate another uh, purchase order to have a contractor go in and fix it. And then there's also a question of the banana trees now growing inside the ponding basin property. Actually, they're not even supposed to have anything in there. That's right, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to impede the actual uh, ponding uh, function. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, so... We, we spoke to the person, to, we wanted them to remove everything, but uh, I'm not sure what he spoke with the mayor uh, about what, what's going on. Okay. Well, my brother, thank you so much for the information. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.